Hi, everybody. Hello there. Jerry. Linda and Gizmo. We're the Village's newcomers, and we've got a great show for you today. We'd like to welcome Chad and Jennifer. Well, thank you very much. We're happy to be here. Chad and Jennifer live in Kentucky, and they commute back and forth to the Village's. They bought a home, and I think you're in the Spanish Springs area. That's correct. Yeah, we're way up north. We, uh, we bought, uh, we actually started looking, and I guess it was about the end of 2019. And we were decided, thinking about buying a rental property back home. We have a couple back in Georgetown, Kentucky. And we decided to go ahead and possibly buy something that we could enjoy more as a vacation home. So we started looking at the villages. I have a client who I sold a house to um, who they moved down here. And that kind of got the whole ball rolling about the villages. And um, so, yeah, so we started uh, the end of 2019 kind of thinking about the villages. So I think people call folks like you a snowflake. You'll come down four or five <laughs> times a year for a week or two. That's correct. We try and, uh, since I'm a realtor um, and Jennifer, she works um, kind of along with her dad. So we have a little bit of flexibility. Obviously, I can, while I'm gone, I'm not selling houses. But we came down, we actually closed on our house March of 2020. And at the beginning of the pandemic. So we've actually been down, came down eight times during uh, that year. Um, we drove several times and flew several times, but we definitely, we enjoy coming down. Now your home is, it's a beautiful home and you back up to a golf course, don't you? Yes. Uh, we, that's the one thing about our house that we love. We actually bought our house sight unseen. Uh, we started watching your videos. Once we started talking about the villages, we started watching your videos. We would binge watch your videos, uh, cause there was not much else to do because of the <laughs> pandemic. So we would, and we would literally for an hour or more watch your videos. And we started to really feel like we had an understanding of the, the villages. And we were planning on coming down that following week um, and work with our sales agent. And we saw this home come on the market. And it was actually a little bit more than we were thinking about spending. But we saw the pictures and the view. And we made our offer contingent upon us liking it once we came down here. Well, you know, the villages stretches a long way north to south, and you bought up north, not in the very first part of the villages, but you're up there in, in an older area. How do you like Spanish Springs? We like it. I, we, I mean, we love our neighborhood. It's, it's quiet, which we enjoy. Um, I think, and it's real close to our, the publics and all that. The, uh, I think we're actually considering now looking at buying another rental property. And we're thinking we really enjoy the Lake Sumter area more. And so my parents came down recently and they really like that area too. So I think if we're going to look at something, a new or another home, we would be thinking about the Lake Sumter area. Yeah, we like that area that ourselves. Nice. So when you bought your home, did you look at it as a future home for yourself or did you look at it as an investment? It was definitely an investment. We were thinking something that we could buy. Uh, we we're our kind of our plan is that hopefully within the next five years uh, we'll be able to retire and so we're thinking if we go ahead and have something down here as a rental property or just a home that we could have there and then we do decide to retire we sell everything we have in kentucky and then either sell the house we have here buy something else or keep this as a rental property and buy something else to actually live in but now that we have this house we love this house uh, we love the view uh, the only thing, and again, the buying sight unseen, and we had never been to the villages when we bought, uh, was not knowing exactly what was around, how far we were from the town squares and things, but we still were real happy. So you drive sometimes, you fly sometimes. How'd you get here this time? We flew this time. Do they let you ride in the main compartment with all the passengers? Because, you, you know, those guns. <laughs> those guns you got there. Show the people. They Show got, them those guns. Uh, they got to control those. Look at that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding around with him, but he, he's, uh, he's he works guy. hard at it, you can tell. Well, well, Jennifer does. Actually, she works out harder than I do. She's oh. She works out six or seven days a week, so I kind of have to keep up with her. Well, that's the fun of the villages. You can always do that here, too. <laughs> this is true. But we've been lazy this week. <laughs> Jennifer, what do you think of the villages? I love it. Um, I, I love the warm weather and uh, the palm trees and uh, we always have so much fun here. It's so relaxing. When you guys do come here like this time you flew, do you rent a car or do you shuttle? We always rent a car, um, which has been something we've talked about. For a while we were thinking about not renting the house we have now. We didn't start renting it until the beginning of this year. Um, 
So we actually thought about keeping a car here that just would, I mean, financially it made more sense. Uh, then we ended up buying a golf cart, so we just rent the rent the car, and we usually end up driving the golf cart the majority of the time we're here. So your home there in Spanish Springs, do you rent that some while you're not here? We do. We started renting that through a property management company in January, and um, it's been it's even with the pandemic, we only had one month that it wasn't rented, which was this month, right? Well, that's because we reserved it. Well, we month. reserved it, yeah. So and so my parents come down, but it's been pretty steady as a rental. Uh, and that's why I've been thinking about, we're thinking at the Georgetown market back home in Kentucky is a really strong housing market right now for sellers. So we're thinking about selling one of our rental properties there and kind of rolling that in and buying something else. Like I was saying down around Sumter Spring or up, I guess around Sumter, Lake Sumter. I don't have to tell you the location, location, location. Yeah. And there in Spanish Springs, you're right by a golf course and several golf courses. In fact, that's what people want when they rent here. They want to be close to a pool and they want to have access to the golf courses, and you have access to the town square pretty good. Correct. Yeah, we're, we're on the Nancy Lopez golf course, uh, which makes the really pretty view. And we neither of us really play golf right now. Uh, I, I'm sure once we actually move down here full time, that's something we'll we'll pick up. But uh, yeah, Never say never. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We I took lessons when I was back in high school, but just like Spanish lessons back in high school didn't stick. So... They were thinking about going to Sarasota. Oh, yeah. We're going to the Sarasota practice um, driving range. We thought about doing that. We're running out of time this trip, but we think that'd be fun to do. That is. That's a great course, especially for beginners. You probably already know if you've watched our shows. They have two sets of holes. One regular size, regulation cups on each hole. And if you play the course, there's a bigger cup for beginners. And that's a level one. It's the easiest course, one of the easiest courses in the villages. So that's a great place to learn. That's where Linda right. uh, played most yeah. when she was just beginning. Yeah, they're talking about the, the range. Yeah, yeah, but, but the course is right there at the yeah, range. Yeah, it's a great you know. range. Yeah. And course. Now you're maintaining two homes. Is that tougher or easier than you envisioned? It's actually, it's been pretty easy. Uh, we actually, back in Kentucky, we have the house that we live in, and we currently have two rental properties. We just sold one which I manage back there. I'd prefer to manage the one here myself, but being so new to the villages, uh, not having the database of people I can go to when, when there's a problem, we decided to go ahead and use a rental property, a uh, uh, property management company. But I think in the future, the longer we, we have the home here, and if we do get another one, I might try and kind of back off, back off that sum just to Put a little more money in our pocket. Right now, I've heard anything from 18 to 20 percent for a property manager here. Is that pretty close? That's correct. We're paying 18 right now. They do a great job. I mean, they, that includes linens, towels, I and mean, anything like that. They actually, when you come into the house, it does look like you're checking in to sort of like a hotel. I mean, they have everything, toiletries and some things out there. So it, it looks great, but uh, it's the 18 percent is kind of. Yeah, that's yeah. painful. That's painful. If you make yeah. two thousand a month, the first three hundred and sixty, boom, goes um, right to them. Right. Now, did they give you a list for people out there that are thinking about doing this of have six place settings or or uh, you know this many towels, etc.? Did they give you kind of a guideline to go by? You were already in the business, so you probably didn't need it. But for people that are looking, they did. The, our properties back home, we don't furnish. Uh, so when we bought this house here, we fell in love with the villages pretty much as soon as we came down here. And then we started tossing the idea around of not renting that home. So we went ahead and completely furnished it the way we wanted it. Jennifer's really great at that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we had, we had stuff enough, all the furniture. I mean, a lot of those places require a certain number of nightstands, a certain number of oh. even digital clocks and things. So we didn't have all that that was needed. So we did have to get plates and silverware and uh, all that to outfit the whole home. Being a real estate agent in Kentucky, you see the market up there. You know, we're from Southern Indiana. We're probably not 60 miles apart where we lived and where you lived from back then. What do you think of the market down here compared to there? Because I think people are paying unbelievable prices for some of these homes. It's true. I mean, the, the real estate market, I think throughout the country is just, it can't maintain this for that long. I mean, for example, while we've been here, I wrote an offer uh, for a client of mine, and uh, the house was listed for two fifty nine. We offered two seventy, 
and we didn't get it. Wow. Oh. So it's just, that's one of the reasons we're thinking about selling our rental properties up there. But it, it's just a real difficult market. I don't know. To me, I sort of feel like the Villages is a bit of its own bubble. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so, I mean, I think there's always going to be being, people are, when they retire at a certain age, they're going to want to, if they want to move here, they're going to move at that time. And then also there are always people moving out and up. Um, and so there's always going to be homes on the market. So I think it's somewhat of a different entity, but like, yeah, I agree, everything's selling for really high prices. Yeah, we, we're encountering that ourselves. You know, I think our viewers know we've been toying with the idea of buying a pool home. You know, it, really don't need to. We have a pool a half a mile away that we mm -hmm. can get to. And uh, it's just the thought of it. But then we look at the prices. Yeah. And I mean, literally in this neighborhood, there was a home that was nine fifty nine, I believe. It didn't last two days. No. And it sold. And it's, you know, it is a designer home right here in this village. Yeah. Another one right now is on sale for eight ninety five. Ninety five. Mm -hmm. And back home, honestly, you could build both of those homes for under $500,000. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. you know, for us, the market's just a little bit out of control. I don't know how long it could maintain either. But Jennifer, let me ask you this. Can you see yourself living full-time here someday? Definitely. <laughs> I would, um, we travel a lot, we've, and we've moved around a lot. So I can see us maybe being here in the wintertime and yeah. somewhere else. Mm -hmm. in the summer yeah. but yeah I can see putting down roots here yeah. and Chad you could move down here and you could do the real estate thing exactly yeah I think I mean, I'm definitely in all of our travels I'm the one I'm a bit more pliable so <laughs> I can I can live pretty much anywhere but yeah I mean here yeah I would I would love to be moved down here I would definitely get my real estate license I've met some other agents yeah. uh, just kind of talking with them here and there and I wouldn't Maybe not be a full full time real real estate agent, but yeah. Is there anything that you guys, before we close out here today, would like to uh, share with the people watching that might be considering buying a home to use part time, or maybe just to use sparingly until they're old enough to retire here? Uh, I would say definitely, like if you you all said in your videos, uh, do your research. I mean, we, I think we got kind of lucky with ours. I mean, we literally had never stepped foot in the villages and we bought our house. So we didn't know. Wow. And then just from watching your videos, we felt like we knew the villages pretty well. Uh, but having, I think it's important to come down and kind of learn what the area is about, uh, get a better feel for, you know, where everything is and um, kind of learn where the town squares are and which ones that you like better and what other things are important to you as far as the golf or the rec centers and things like that. The restaurants and the shopping. Definitely. That's one thing we definitely enjoy. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of, we're kind of foodies, so we enjoy going out and eating a lot. Your answer just kind of reminded me of one thing. Being from where I know you're from and where we were from, these houses are close together down here. <laughs> Does that bother you? Uh, well, fortunately, we live in one of the uh, courtyard courtyard homes, so we have so we don't really notice our neighbors. And I know also things that you've said from the videos before. Fortunately, we have quiet neighbors, so we we don't really notice them. But since we're in the courtyard, we have the walls or fences on each side, and then the back of our house overlooks the, the Lopez Golf Course. So uh, we don't really notice that as much. Back home, we grew on five acres, so we. Don't, or we have cows as neighbors back home. But no, it, it hasn't bothered us at all. Yeah, now you guys have cows and chickens and what else? <laughs> and we have, we're down to three dogs, two cats, five chickens, a duck, and then the cows. When they eat breakfast, they eat their own eggs. <laughs> yeah. This is true. This is true. Bring a lot of eggs to the gym. Guys, I know there's a lot more you want to do here in the villages on this stay rather than sit here and talk to us. So we're going to wrap this up right here, but we want to thank you so much for coming today. Well, thank you all. We really appreciated the opportunity to come and uh, come see you all again and, and, and do it. Gizmo. Yes, oh, Gizmo. Gizmo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, folks, that's going to do it from here. We really appreciate them being with us today. Hopefully you got some information that'll help you if you're one of the, I hate the word snowflake, but I don't know what else to call it. Or just an occasional uh, villager, villager, you know, but you do own a home here. So good stuff there. 
please press that like and subscribe button. Until next time. See you when you get here.